are some of the questions from the question sticks? Okay, activities you most enjoy for ladies' night out events? Bunko. Bunko? <laughs> That's just like an old lady answer. Yes, or ladies. Karaoke would be mine. Karaoke. Karaoke. That's a solid answer. Um, okay, so second question would be funny things that have happened to you lately. I was told that I look like a character from Happy Days the other day based off of my outfit. Oh my gosh. I was wearing a skirt earlier because I got this skirt to match this. Hold on. I don't know if you can see it. But it's a high waist skirt and I was huh. just wearing this and my brother goes, Kayla, why do you look like you're somebody from the 40s? And I was Maybe. like, I'll take that as a compliment. Well, obviously we should award <laughs> your outfit and my outfit from the other day at the same time. Um, things you would incorporate into your music if you were a songwriter. Oh, oh, sorry. Themes. You would incorporate into your themes. I would incorporate. Mm -hmm. um, I really like when people write a song about mm -hmm. like Jesus without it being like yes, James Arthur's Jesus. <laughs> James Arthur's Back from the Edge. All of like Anne Berlin that I listened yeah. to a lot in college. Yes. Like almost all of the music yeah. ties back. Jesus in some way, which is really Same. Cool. That's why I sob so much at James Arthur's Back from the Edge, just because yeah. like, I literally just hear it. Like, Dude Man may not even believe in Jesus, but like all I see from his album is... And I think it's an easy like way to conversation start with somebody yeah. who isn't a follower. Like, mm -hmm. um, for example, yeah. one time I was listening to like old school Nick Jonas, like when oh. he was like 12. Yes! And When You Look Me In The Eyes was originally a song about Jesus. Yes! And it starts a conversation like, hey, did you know this song was really I think I have Jesus? that version on my phone. I actually got it on here. So yes. Um, no, I totally agree. I, those are my favorite. And it's just like, Christians, I'm sorry, all of them are gonna like kill me for this, but that's fine. I hate Christian radio. Oh my gosh. I cannot yes. stand it. It all sounds the same. And my family like literally will exile me because they I would <laughs> rather listen to like a 1912 hymn yeah. and then listen to anything that's on Christian radio because it has no depth to it at all. And it's all like the same, like, oh, today was really hard, life is really hard, but like, but I have Jesus, Jesus, so it's all good. So it's great. Or like, I stubbed my toe, but I have Jesus. And it's I really mean, these people need to list, go back and listen to DC Talk Jesus Freak. I th A theme I would incorporate into to my music. I actually haven't told anyone. Oh, this is what I could have put in my like Insta story template, something that I've never told anyone. I actually have written a couple of songs. Oh. Yeah. Very cool. But um, I've never shown them to anyone or like played them for anyone. Um, one, because I can't sing, but like <laughs> I can write. And the ones that I think I'm the most proud of are about like pushing somebody off a pedestal I've built. Like building somebody up in your mind because you have just like this perfect picture of them but then like getting frustrated when they break it or like you get frustrated with yourself because you know that's not them this pedestal needs to fall or like come crumbling down all right next question do you it's gonna take us an hour oh no starting route to 610 street but we've got to get to nando's we've got to get to nando's we've got to get to nando's okay, but we're, we're technically okay. stopped all right go ahead so we are stopped in traffic that is why we're doing this so Ironic that this is playing for celebrities you would most like to sleep with if you had a free pass. <laughs> I think you just listened to the song for both Kaylin and I's answers on for, this one. Hold on. Yeah. If I, I mean, for the rest, I mean, if you've watched my last vlog, you'd know I'm still a virgin. But if I was going to sleep with four, four celebrities. <laughs> You can, you can make it five. You can throw a save five. in there. No, so I was, I would say, I would even maybe throw in Ed Sheeran. Just cause. I mean. No, wait. Sorry, I take that back. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy has to be one of them. No. Harry Styles. Yeah. Niall Horan. Um, Tom Hardy. They're basically all musicians of Anne Tom Hardy. Like, you know, I don't really have like celebrity crush people except for yeah, Kyle. That's true. Maybe Zach Efron. Ooh. I feel like that was everyone's choice, like in high school like, musicals. Zach Efron asked Troy Bolton in college because in high school that's illegal. 
It's true. Um, my um, high school self would have said Nick Jonas. You can throw Nick in there too. But let's see, I'm mad at him now, so I can't. Right. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be a. Only if he got the Jonas Brothers back together. And he started wearing his purity ring again, but that would defeat the purpose of. I think that's. <laughs> Oh God. And the defeat purpose of this question. All right, moving on to the next one. There's one on the back of it. Okay. Ooh. Oddest things you've seen on the internet. Oddest things I've seen on the internet. I have a good one for this. Okay. This past week, that lady in China who ate her cotton candy in like a second. Did you see that video? No. Oh my gosh. She was on some game show and she had was in a competition with the male host uh -huh. and they had to eat cotton candy as fast as they could mm -hmm. and she just ripped it off the bowl and, went, and just chomped it down all in one bite. It was insane. It's a little gross, but I was impressed. Yeah, oddest thing. I don't know. Probably spill your guts or fill your guts that oh, I've that seen lately. Yes. I love James Corden. I want to do something like meaningful. Like, cause you know some people get on like talk shows for something stupid. Right. I want to do something meaningful enough that I'm promoting it to be on Ellen and James Corden. That has nothing yes. to do with this question, but like <laughs> those are my goals in life. So that you could, so you can go on James Corden and play. Spill your guts or fill your guts. Yes. I did enjoy his one this week about stealing a candle from yes! Harry's house. <laughs> that was pretty good. I always enjoy them. And like, you know, Everyone keeps asking him, like, who's the worst carpool karaoke? And he won't answer it. And I want him to answer it. It's probably where I carry. Okay, next one. Um, if items you would purchase, I don't know why I'm holding it like this. Um, <laughs> items you would purchase first if money was no object. Items I would purchase first. Mm -hmm. The first thing I would purchase is my favorite place in the world is... Metro Baptist Church in New York City. Mm -hmm. Check them out, Roush and Boost Metro Ministries. And I desperately need an elevator. Yeah. But because they desperately need an elevator, but because of New York City unions and how old their building is, it'd be like two million dollars just to install an elevator. So that's the first thing I would buy is I would buy Metro Baptist an elevator. Gotcha. Because they're pretty cool. They help them with ministries they'd like to do for disabled people, but because their church is filled with stairs and you have to take stairs to get anywhere in their building, yeah. it would increase the ministries they could do. I'm trying to think of like words to say this or like feasible yeah. ways it could happen. Um, I would want to own a factory or buy out at least one factory if, so that people are paid equal, uh, fairly Absolutely. for, paid fairly for uh, what they do. I would buy out Zara. That is what I would do. I would buy out Zara and make sure- Let's just continue the Instagram story yes, from the other I would day. buy out Zara and I would um, make sure that where they were getting their clothes were made ethically and that everyone who was employed through Zara was paid and was free and not um, not trafficked. And then I would pay for my best friend's honeymoon. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I would pay for the Jonas Brothers to get back together. Mm -hmm. Play me, got me going crazy. I'd pay to get One Direction back together. Yes. Even though, but that's for selfish. a maid in the AM. I would pay for the maid in the AM tour. I would sell out one of the stadiums for myself, you and Maggie. <laughs> So personal made in the AM oh, concert. That's stuff. dream. Okay. That could so, be like just in like my living room. Though. Yeah, that's true. Um so right, I would love to okay, next one. <laughs> Item oh that's the same one. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to flip it over. Um dream dates you fantasize about. Oh my god. Well I kinda already answered this question. Yeah. We didn't have Nile. Troy Bolton. No. Does it mean the people or the actual event of the date? Like, I have a dream date scenario, but I'm not telling you because if you're the right person, you'll figure it out. Oh. Um, I'd also like to go on a date with Lin Manuel Miranda Ooh. just so I could talk to him for hours. That's how I feel about Ed Sheeran and James Arthur. 
Like I I got a little bit of that this summer when I got to talk to James for the private concert. I didn't do a video of that. I didn't post any of the videos I took yeah. of that. Um, but I asked him a question I would want to ask him more, not necessarily like about like dating him, but just like how does he get there? And like especially like like I said earlier, like I see a lot of Jesus in his music, so like does he actually believe or is it one of those like just surface level things to sell records? Because that would really disappoint me though. <laughs> Um, yeah, all right. One more question, or well, one more stick, and then we'll do. Um, ooh, one more. Locations you would fly to for your next vacation if money was no object. The Maldives. Yeah, that sounds pretty amazing. I've been looking at prices. That, that's where I would pay for my best friend to have her honeymoon. And then I would be on the plane <laughs> in the yeah. seat behind them at a different bungalow. That sounds amazing. I would fly to... If you could fly. If I could fly. If I could fly. Um, I don't know. Maybe, like, to Greece. Oh, Santorini or Mykonos? Santorini, yeah. And then, like, travel through Europe. Some, sorry, Santorini or Greece. It's, yes. I think that sounds amazing. Okay. Um, Maldives. Um, for all of the beauty and fashion companies out there who have been doing wonderful promotions in the Maldives, please see my email for collaborations. <laughs> yeah, how can I get on one of those um, like paid trips that if I post about it on Instagram, they'll let me go for free? We will personally go to the Maldives. Where I'll write a blog post and do a video on it with Emily in collaboration with insert whatever brand would like to join us with it within reason if it's some kind of sketchy like porn site no we're not doing that hairstyle trends you find or once found to be appalling um, bowl cuts oh my gosh I'm scarred from the bowl cut I used to have also, one also um, yeah I used to have like the Dorothy Hamill hair Ooh. Um, like I'm really sorry I hate those like under shaved cut haircuts. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. Um, appalling. The because I work in retail, I'm gonna have to say the "May I speak to your manager?" haircut. <laughs> you know, Goslin. You know who I'm talking about, and you know who you are. <laughs> so yeah. All right. I think that's question six. This. So we made it to DC and all these wonderful high school students have the greatest signs and we were so inspired by them and we were just talking about that. Look at all these wonderful, um, inspiring young men and women. I'm so You've proud of them. never played the quiet game like a teacher in a lockdown drill. Let's
Alex Wilmer. He's here to support Demi. I'm 